often when you're working with a project, you are going to make some bigger changes. And that is not always nice to do in the same working copy as everyone else. Because if I'm working on a bigger solution and I'm making a lot of changes to the solution, I might break something or do something which isn't ready to be committed before a long time, which means that no one else can make a commit. And in SVN, you would just check out a new branch and you would work on that one, then you would merge it in the end. Now, Git is a bit different because in source, in SVN, you have many folders. You have a folder for each branch, while in Git, there's only one working copy and one working folder. As we can see down here, uh, this is one folder. This is my project folder. There's, there's only one folder here. And what I do is, if I want to create some new code, I make a feature. So I click Git Flow. And when you haven't set up Git Flow yet, you will have to, uh, first of all, have both master and develop on your local branches. And you can see up here to the left, I don't have master. So I have to right click here, check out origin master, and I say OK. And now I have both of them. Then I'm able to click Git Flow set up the initial initialized repository in source tree and I'll wait a second and now I'm able to go inside here and make a feature so I can make a new feature it's like my new feature and this is meant for bigger uh, updates where you cannot add to the same working copy so now we on that feature something interesting happens that is all the code here in this folder actually knows we on that uh, feature and any change you will make now will never affect develop or master now for instance if i'm going in here and in this layout i will say okay that that's great i'll just write something like hello world i am fine now this is uh, a change and we can commit to the new feature doing this commit test and we will commit that layout file saying commit that's great and we will push the feature and we do it by selecting the feature here and what happens is now the feature are being pushed to our repository which in this case is github but the thing is here that I in these folders in these files the changes exist so if I go in here and I look at my shared view look at this source we can see that the hello world I'm fine is here however the second I want to go back to develop I can click OK and now git automatically goes inside and change my files so if I open this file again in the same folder it's gone which means that instead of having different folders when you create a feature git knows all the changes you have made and then it you know it pushes all these changes so you don't have to worry about uh, the structure of your folders it just happens automatically and by doing this you can work on different uh, features make a lot of code here I can commit for a long time and then when I'm done I can say git flow finish feature and I'm just clicking OK finish feature and then what happens is their code is merged with develop and this happens first locally and then I can push it and what happens now is that the two ones are uh, merged and we can click here look at the file and we can see that the hello world I'm fine is back so that's how features work is you create a feature do some work and when you're done you merge it together into develop and you're good to go